Hello, my name is Charity Rissler Watrich, and welcome to another video. Today, um, we're going to be talking about William Branham and his claims or implications that he was God. Um, and I think this is important to bring up because I've had countless, literally countless comments on some of my I grew in a, I grew up in a cult series. Um, saying that I'm blaspheming the Holy Spirit. And um, <clears throat> I got this message when I was in the cult um, that <sighs> if you said anything against William Branham, you were blaspheming the Holy Spirit. That was constantly uh, a thread in sermons. So it's no surprise to me that people in the comments are saying, be careful that you don't blaspheme the Holy Spirit. But slow down and think about what you're actually saying. If you're saying that I'm blaspheming the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is God, three in one, Holy Spirit is part of that three. Holy Spirit is part of God. It is God. So therefore, if you're saying I'm blaspheming the Holy Spirit, by saying something against William Branham, you're implying that William Branham is God. Without, like, even if you aren't thinking that, that's part of it. Um, you can't say I'm blaspheming the Holy Spirit when I'm saying things against William Branham, unless you mean that William Branham is God. Basically, if you are a message believer um, in the cult that I was, I grew up in, um, it's not radical or crazy of you to think that William Branham is God. I know that some people in the message, they say, oh no, those are the crazy ones. Those are the crazy people who think that William Branham is God. We don't think that. Um, but no, actually, I have seen some comments, some comments saying uh, that William Branham is God or something like that in my comments. And it's not unreasonable if you are a message believer to believe that William Branham was God, if you actually study what he said. I'll share some examples and um, I'm going to be pulling from believethesign.com. I'll share a link in the description for exactly what article I'm referring to. But there is a, an article titled William Branham's uh, View of Himself. From the things that he said, it seems like he thought or at least implied that he was God in the flesh. I'll, I'll share some examples of that. So now Jesus came in three names, son of man, which is prophet, son of God, which went through the church age, then son of David. But in between the son of God and son of David, according to his own word, and according to Malachi 4, and many scriptures, he's to return back into his church in physical form, in the people, in uh, in human beings, in the way of being a prophet. See, that's quoted verbatim. I don't think I messed that up at all. Um, so is he implying that God will come back in the last day as a prophet? First off, that contradicts uh, scripture of Christ's second coming, which I can uh, include a little link to the scripture here that that, um, that, that totally goes against. But if he's saying that Christ is going to come back in the form of a last day prophet, wait, doesn't he say like he's the last day prophet? Weird, right? He's not directly saying it, but it sounds like he's implying he's God. Uh, let's go on again. Now, he promised that. So that sets the Bible just exactly to this day. And the Sodom and Gomorrah and Elijah was not, that wasn't Elijah. That was the Holy Spirit of God on Elijah. Elijah was just a man. Now, we've had Elijah's, and Elijah's coats, and Elijah's mantles, and Elijah's everything. But the Elijah of this day is the Lord Jesus Christ. He is to come according to Matthew the 17, Luke 17, 30. He says the Son of Man is, reve is to reveal himself among his people. Not a man. God. Now, you don't have to be a radical message believer to say that Branham was the prophet of the last days, that he was a fulfillment of Malachi 4. Well, 
Branham seems to be saying something, uh, he seems to be extrapolating on that in that quote. Um, he says, but the Elijah of this day is the Lord Jesus Christ. So if you believe he was the Elijah of this day, he's saying that's the Lord Jesus Christ. If the Bible says that if anybody comes to you and say, says, I'm the Christ or there is the Christ, come and follow me. I know where the Christ is. No, like you will know when Christ returns, he's going to come down on the clouds. You will know, like, don't think that you're going to miss the rapture or something, or you're going to miss Christ coming back. When Christ returns, everyone will know. I won't get into all of that stuff. Um, if you want me to do a video on eschatology, that is the, um, what the end days look like. Now I actually have a better understanding of what it means uh, for the, the end days. So I would love to do that. But anyway, not talking about that in this video, but I'm going to include this document with all these compiled quotes in the description of this video. Tim talking about how God can only help you through William Branham, him talking about um, him saying he was the Holy Ghost, which remember, we know the Holy Ghost is part of part of God. It's part of the Trinity. It is God. Um, he also didn't rebuke people who bowed before his photograph. That's a, a little concerning, don't you think? Um, we have examples of many prophets in the Bible rebuking people and even angels rebuking people who bowed before them. Because you don't do that. You only bow before God, right? Unless he thought he was God. Um, <laughs> Um, he claimed to do things Jesus couldn't do. If you disagreed with him, you're blaspheming the Holy Spirit. That didn't come out of nowhere. Um, uh, she said, Reverend Branham, if I want somebody to talk to me about like that, I'll get somebody that's got some sense, not you. I said, very well, I've done all I can do. Remember, sister, you, if you blaspheme the Holy Ghost, you'll never be saved. Remember, let me tell you, Thus saith the Spirit of God, that's on me. This is the last sign of the Gentile church before the rapture. Thus saith the word of God, thus saith the Holy Spirit that speaks, that knows the secret of the heart. Thus saith the Lord, you are receiving your last call. Call me a fanatic if you wish to, and blaspheme the Holy Ghost. There's a bunch more in this article, super interesting. Um, Believe the Sign guys did an amazing job on this article. I highly recommend you go check it out. Um, but I'm trying to keep these videos short because my baby is napping currently. And if I don't finish recording this, she will wake up and demand my attention. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Um, if you are a message believer, I'd love to hear your rebuttal um, to the quotes on that article. Um, or let me know. If you're a message believer and you believe that William Branham was God, I would also like to hear your explanation for that. Um, and um, yeah, I think this is really interesting and coming out of the message, um, I'm surprised that I myself didn't believe that William Branham was God because of all the clear ways that he said that he was. Um, and uh, yeah, anyway, with that, I think that's all I have for today. My name is Charity Ursula Watrich. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe and, uh, you know, like the video, all that stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye.